Hello friends, welcome to another plan with me on this channel. My name is Miri and we will set up my bullet journal for the last month of autumn, November. Right you are, I will use some nice muted colors again. So stay tuned if you want to see how I created those colors and pages. Beforehand, I painted this autumnal forest. Unfortunately, I couldn't include that in this video because then we would sit here for hours. <laughs> but nonetheless, I will share it as my next video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I painted the forest on an A5 watercolor page, but printed it out far smaller to fit the design for my bullet journal theme. As for the background, I wanted to incorporate again some of these packing paper. I saved that from Amazon orders and love to use it in my bujo. What do you think of it? Are you saving and reusing that as well? Let me know in the comments. I wrote the quote, which I think I found on Pinterest, on an extra piece of dotted paper. I stamped down November with my alphabet stamps, which I bought on Amazon. As you can see, I struggle a bit writing a serif font, but it's a good practice though. I really should try that more often. I went over it with a berry red pigment liner, which I also found on Amazon. As you must know, I live more in the countryside and the next really big city where you can shop artist supplies is one hour away. <laughs> and even then, I think they would sell more common supplies and the typical bright colors. So yeah, that's why I buy most of the stuff online. Back to the quote. It's like a dictionary entry for November. It says, it is the last month of autumn, but the beginning of new adventures. It's the time to take risks and to do the unexpected. I cut it out as well as the side tabs for the Dutch doors. Then I glued the brownish gray paper in and rounded the corners of the right page. As the left side was a bit empty, I decided to draw some autumn leaves around the quote. To color them in, I took out my White Nights watercolors and used the mixes of these muted reddish colors. To mix them, I used Meadow Red and Cadmium Red Light and muted it with Yellow Green. I also used Cadmium Orange and muted that with Ultramarine Blue. To mute the Cadmium Yellow Medium, I used a tiny bit of Violet. For the greens, I used a mix of green and yellow green and muted that with a tiny bit of cadmium red. With my Princeton round brush in 12, I started with laying down a light shade of one color, here yellow, and tapped some red and green in. The next leaf I started with green and tapped red and orange in. Just do as you like because every autumn leaf is unique and colorful. By the way, if you like this video so far, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow me here on YouTube and to see more content like this. After that, I glued the painting and loose papers in.
At last I wrote November over my painting with a pit artist pen in the color India Red. Somehow it feels kind of minimalistic. <laughs> So the focus lays here completely on the autumn feeling when you open that page. I really like how it turned out. What do you think? Now let's move on to the colander page. I sketched out some leaves and nuts to frame the colander. While I paint them in, I won't say much because I think it's quite self-explanatory. I used the mixes of my palette as well as some burnt sienna and burnt umber. I left the leaves in light shades and focused more on the hazelnuts and chestnuts. I tried to paint the nuts with a pit artist pen, but didn't like the streaks it left behind. So I went over that with watercolor to fix it. After coloring, I glued some of this paper in again and lined my colander on that with the reddish pigment liner.
With this dark lilac color, I painted the dots for the days. While they dried, I sketched out the title with pencil first and went over that with a dark lilac pigment liner. With the olive green one of this set, I went over some of the leaves, as well as with a black pigment liner in 005 and a grey one in 01. I painted the side tab in this orangey brown shade and tipped some orange in that as well for some variation. Lastly, I wrote the days with a white jelly roll pen in 05. Let's have a detailed look of that page as well before we flip over to the next pages. I started by writing the titles with pencil first and went over them with the pigment liner again. I conjured some cut pieces for the habit and health tracker. As for the titles, I colored their space in with that dark violet mix from my palette and glued the papers in.
For the content planner, I marked out some more space as before. I want to try to produce more videos for you guys over the next weeks to have some goodies ready for December. With the M79, I made the lines for the trackers. Now it was time to decorate these pages with a little painting. For that, I sketched out some hazelnuts. I began to paint in layer after layer. Here you can see that I started with light colors and went darker with every layer to create shadows and texture. I know it might seem like too much effort for some journal decoration, but as I said in some videos before, I use my journal as an art journal as well. As I work full time as a project manager, as far from art as it could be, <laughs> I don't have time to paint a lot and my art went rusty. So my bullet journal helps me to start exploring and improving my art again. And I really love to share that with all of you and to take you with me on this journey. For my weekly pages, I cut out two Dutch doors again and sketched in the space for the days.
then I wrote November on the top. To give this page some color, I will paint the boxes in a light shade of the mixtures on my palette. I use a sable hair brush in the size 6 as it holds more paint and water. With a pigment liner, I wrote weak under the boxes and lined a space next to it with a reddish mixture. There I stamped the weak number in. I outlined the boxes with incomplete lines using the grey pigment liner in 01. On the left side, I drawn some falling leaves and colored them in with watercolor. On the right top corner, I wanted another tree painting. I painted the trunk first and then some leaves around and over that. I varied the colors again to get this autumn look.
on the left side, I glued in some of this paper again to have some place for notes. On the last page will be my shopping lists again. I painted the title boxes with the purple and reddish mixture and made some lines with the N79 under that. And with that, we came to an end. We have captured some autumn magic in our bullet journal. I'm already excited using these spreads for the next weeks. They kind of put me in a dreamy state. What do you think of this setup? Let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and hope you can enjoy some rainless autumn days. See you in my next video. Bye bye.